Buddy, out in Hot Rod Land, this is Phil with Carcraft Classics. Once again, showing off a new piece of inventory. Got a real bad Mamma Jamma right here. 1969 Chevy Camaro. Super high-end build. Investment quality vehicle. Really, really nice. Let's take a closer look. So we took a look at the, uh, the firewall tag, and it turns out this car is a original... California car. Van Nuys, California. It was born a coupe. It was born a V8. And of course, you know, California cars, very little rust. This car has no rust. Uh, it's been a high-end build for, for years. Um, my customer had it since 07, so he's had it 11 years. And the guy prior, he had it a long time too. But, uh, but anyway, let's get to the details. It was born with a V8, like I said, but it wasn't born with this V8. What we have here is a 502 Marine crate block uh, that's been built to 540 cubic inches. And again, I know this term has been beaten to death in the hot rod community, but they spared no expense. Starting up front, we have the aluminum radiator. Hopefully you can see that. Beautiful day here in Georgia. Nice that it's not super sunny, so you guys can get a real good look at the vehicle uh, without the glaring sun. But anyway, aluminum radiator, dual electric fans, front runner big block serpentine belt kit down there you see with the chrome alternator, billet power steering pump, serpentine, you know, single belt, cast water pump to match the block. Just a real nice setup. And yes, what do we have here? That is an AC compressor. This car does have vintage air. And what a good looking motor. First of all, being a big block, you know, the nice, cool, kind of fluted valve covers, nice touch, kind of an old school look. We've got the uh, aluminum radiator there. It's an Edelbrock. And underneath there, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a Demon four barrel carburetor. All braided lines used in this build, and the list of internals that were used on this motor are even more impressive than what you see out here. I've got all those specs. I'm not going to go over them on this video, otherwise it'd be an hour long. And I've got a folder two, three inches thick with all the parts that have been used on this motor. So you can see big aluminum heads down there, as you can see those, and then nice headers so she can breathe. Uh, just a stunning, stunning build here. Electronic ignition, you see the MSD distributor cap coil back there. And they did kind of a cool thing over here. A uh, little set of gauges here under the hood. And that button right there illuminates the engine compartment with a, like a navy blue HID light. And all the little gadgets, you know, the looks like a vacuum canister got a big cam and it will let you hear it in a minute but uh, super sharp build high end sorry to be redundant but just want to get that point across so here she is up front sorry if there's some streaks in the paint I just went over it with uh, with a rag and some some spray detailer because the pollen is crazy here in Georgia but get a look at that so again we haven't been able to verify that it's a real Z28 the owner that brought the car to me um, said that it's a clone, but I'm not so ready to give up on it being an original Z. I have to do a little bit more research to verify that. But regardless, it's a gorgeous car. Disc brakes up front. Like I said, it does have power steering. Now we get into the chassis mods. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I'll give you a look underneath, but basically it's got heavy-duty subframe connectors. It's got traction bars. 3-inch Magnaflow exhaust, stainless mufflers, a Richmond 5-speed transmission, 12-bolt rear end. But before we get under there, let's take a look. All original body. Like I said, this is a California car, so it's got all its original body panels and no rust. Relocation kit for the battery to the rear. Wouldn't want that ugly battery messing up the look of that beautiful engine compartment. Okay, give you a look at the rear end. I know you guys out there in hot rod land love the rear end, you know what I mean? 
of the rear end on these hot rods, these little classic cars, like a, like a beautiful woman. Anyway, I digress, as they say. Super, super sharp. Now, talk wheels and tires. You can see that the stance is just awesome on this vehicle. And what you got going on there is QA1 adjustable coilover suspension. And I'll have all pictures on the website of the undercarriage, but for reasons of this video, just explain to you that he's got it lowered down a little bit. Nothing scrubs. There's no rubbing issues, but man, that stance is awesome. Billet specialty, 17 inch wheels all the way around, staggered setup. I think it's an eight and a 10. Uh, tires, we have 275, 40 ZR 17s out back. And then uh, let's see what we have up front. 255, 45 ZR 17s in front. But those one piece billet specialty wheels, they are sharp. You can see those discs through there. The owner opted for the stock setup for caliper and rotor combo. Uh, period correct, I should say. Well, let's take a look on the interior. Completely new, beautiful interior. Just gorgeous. Even did the tasteful uh, original stickers in the door jam. Really can make a difference in a in a paint job when you go back and put those on and make it look like it was from the factory. Now, again, brand new uh, deluxe interior in this Camaro. Give you a look at the back. It does have one roll bar back here for support. You know, these subframe cars, yeah, they can twist. Now, it does have, again, traction bars and such. And the subframe connectors but anyway that previous owner thought it was important to put that on there dome light does work brand new lens that's another thing the uh the owner has done which is a nice nice improvement is he's gone and replaced all the old crappy switches and knobs in here everything that you grab the dash the uh glove box door the window cranks the door handles if they were worn out they have been replaced and they're brand new and it's just a nice touch everything you look at is nice and new I'll give you a look at the headliner which has also been replaced and that's all new beautiful okay so what do you say we fire this thing up I'll give you a look at these little aftermarket gauges and this guy right here might have to name him Eddie anybody my age knows who that is but anyway, cool little custom shifter handle. It comes up a little higher than normal, and it's kind of cool. Just drove the car around a few minutes, and uh, I like it. Resting your arm up there, it's kind of cool, kind of different. Well, let's fire this sucker up and let you hear it. Electric fuel pump back there. I think it's a whole Holly setup. I'll have pictures of that on the on the website as well. Again, it's got three inch Magnaflow exhaust back there. It's got like the X pipe set up. Just bad to the bone, man. Let's take a listen. I'll shut up and let you guys hear it. you guys it's it's a sweet sounding car again interior brand new from top to bottom from the carpet kit to the headliner no worries there whoever's interested in this vehicle just know that everything is new uh, maybe like I said a handful of small little spots to touch up on the paint um, but the car does not need a, a paint job just a couple little touch-ups but just a gorgeous 
great riding, super powerful car. I don't have a dyno sheet on it, but I'm guessing it's got to be somewhere between 550 and 650 as far as horsepower. And we can dyno the car if you know a prospective buyer would like to know. We can do that. I think it's got HID headlights as well. Blinkers work, wipers work, everything works in the car. Trim is all there. There's no pitting, no surface rust on the trim as you can see. It's really in excellent shape. Well, let's take a look underneath. Okay. Okay. So like I said, as far as suspension goes, it's the stock chassis, but tubular A-arms as you can see. It's, uh, it's got QA1 adjustable coilovers all the way around. Twelve bolt rear end, like I said, a Richmond five speed. Look at the uh, traction bars, and there's the subframe connectors. Braided lines all over the place. Just a nice, nice build. The little details are what impressed me on this car. Let's see here. Get my old butt down on the ground, show you the rear end, and I'm done crawling around. Okay. Here you can get a good look underneath. See those traction bars, big wide exhaust, that H pipe up there, that 12 bolt. Goes down the street real nice. Brand new gas tank. And she'll want to squat, man, when you really get on it. This thing, it's not really set up for the track, but it can handle the street, that's for sure. So there she is, 1969 Chevy Camaro. The asking price in this vehicle is going to be 54.9. He's got to have 80 grand in it. So my advice to anybody who wants one, buy it. Don't build it. <laughs> it's tough. It's a tough addiction we all have with these classics. It's not cheap. Okay, so the website is carcraftclassics.com. And there'll be 30 some odd pictures of the vehicle still shots on there. Um, also you can see uh, some information on this vehicle on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash carcraftclassics. Again my name is Phil and we can also help with financing so if you're in love with the car and you just don't want to end up in divorce court or depleting your 401k or what have you, give me a holler and uh, I'll do all I can to get you some financing for the vehicle. And there she is. Just gorgeous. My number is 770-317-1415 and the shop is 470-239-4977. Give us a call if you have any questions, need some other angles uh, as far as pictures go, be glad to help you out and uh, we can also help with delivery. So again, it's carcraftclassics.com. Thank you very much everyone for watching. God bless America.